Hey, what's up? It's Annika and happy Vlogmas day two. If you haven't already, check out my first Vlogmas video where I made a Christmas bucket list and it's just a bunch of things, like realistic things I'm going to be doing this December and some of them I'm actually going to be doing Vlogmas videos for. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel to follow along with those. If you're new here, then welcome. Be sure to follow along as I document creating a happy and financially free life. I do a ton of budgeting videos, finance videos, vlogs, and that kind of stuff. So make sure to check out my other videos. But in this video, we are going to talk about Christmas gifts on a budget. And I'm talking a budget. And at the end, I'm even gonna give you some free ideas. Free, our favorite word. But if you've been following along, then you know I'm on a debt-free journey and saving money is so important. And this year I've actually paid off all of my credit card debt over $20,000. So if you are interested on in how I did that, I actually did a video on it. So be sure to check that out. I think personal finance is so important and it's especially easy over the holidays to stray from our budget and our goals and to maybe overspend. And it gets so tricky and this is the first year I'm actually giving myself a budget. If you've seen my debt journey videos, you know I started in January of this year, so just over 11 months ago, I guess, now. But I feel like I've really gotten the hang of budgeting and gotten better at self-control, I guess. I literally unsubscribed from all these marketing emails the other day and it felt great. Okay, let's get into it. I've got 30 plus ideas for you as well as at the end I'm going to include the free ideas, so stick around. I'll let you be the judge of which ones are low effort, high effort, cheap, cheapish, free, things like that. You can be personal, you can be generic. I have all of those ideas in here, so let's go. Number one, you can do a custom portrait. Now, people on Etsy are selling these for fairly cheap. I think you can literally pay for someone to create a drawn sketch version of your favorite photo of maybe you and the person you want to give it to or your dog or their dog or their pet you know what I mean it's just any type of portrait they're relatively cheap on Etsy and I've actually done them for my friends as well and I haven't officially put it on my website maybe I will by the time I post this video but number two think of that person's hobbies so if they're sitting at home, working from home all day, maybe get them those little iced coffee packets. You can get those for really cheap in like a big pack at any grocery store or Walmart or Target or anything like that. And honestly, I would love that as a gift. I've got a couple more things related to this like hobbies option, but that'll be at the end for the free things. Number three, candles. So there are so many different candle options either on Amazon. I know a lot of us are trying to support locally and small business owners, so definitely pay attention to maybe either small shops within your town or companies online that do personalized candles. I think those are so thoughtful, especially like the Homestick brand that captures the essence of maybe their homestay if they moved away or live far from you type of thing. Like that would be so great. Number four, plants, like little baby succulents. You can either buy fake ones or real ones. Fake ones you can literally find in like the dollar section at Target or even the dollar store. <laughs> you can also order real plants off the internet and have them shipped to the person as a gift. So if they're really into plants, that's a great gift. Number five, self-help books. So these can be either an Amazon Kindle download, where if you have a smart device, you can literally just download the Amazon Kindle app and e-gift it pretty much. So you don't even have to deal with like sending it to someone because I think if you don't live with this person, it can be more difficult, especially during this time of getting getting that gift to them. So maybe even checking out your local bookshop or library or anything like that to look for the popular self-help books. I think especially this year, that's, that's a great gift. Number six, face masks. Now, I think these are a good gift for literally anyone. I mean, you can get these from either, they have like big bins at Ulta and at Target. Some of them can be a little bit pricier, like $10, but some of them you can like $5. And honestly, I don't even mind the cheap ones. So they're honestly just like a fun thing to do every once in a while. And since we're all basically staying in, every night can be a spa night. So you can get one for every day of the week. <laughs> I would love that as a gift. Number seven, slippers. So I think, I've gone through at least three pairs of slippers this year because that's all I've been wearing at home and I think anyone could appreciate a cute pair of slippers. I seriously got mine from either Amazon and Walmart and even Target. Like there's just an abundance of all these cute slippers and we know that we're going to wear them. So 
Number eight, a small picture frame. I think Walgreens has these for fairly cheap and you could literally just print out a picture of either you and the person you're giving the gift to or like I said before with the portrait idea, picture of their pet and them and like just a really cute frame to go with it. Like that's very thoughtful and very, I don't know, decorative and practical so they can use it as decoration. Number nine, if you have a five below store near you, I'm so jealous because when I lived in Orlando, Florida, I experienced five below for the first time, which is basically the dollar store, but it's like under $5 and below, hence the name five below. And I didn't even understand that when I first moved there, but I have found some gems at five below. They have some awesome t-shirts like retro t-shirts, pop culture t-shirts. They've got headphones for five dollars like they're really cheap and cheesy but i got my headphones that i used for work all year from five below because they had a microphone with them so any kind of like a little cheap thing like that like i would love to receive because those are things that you're going through constantly and i've invested in expensive pairs of headphones and i end up breaking them anyway or like i spill water on them or something so now i just buy cheap headphones and i just keep buying them a lot so cheap headphones. Number 10, anything from the Michaels and Target dollar sections. Like they are always having clearance sections and you can actually find some real gems in there. I think I got this cute little scented candle for $3 from Target and it's just adorable and it has this little cork top on it. Like this would be a great gift, honestly. Like we're all broke this year and if someone got me this gift, I'd be so thankful <laughs> be like wow you thought of me and you got me this candle okay so whether it was cheap or not like whatever number 11 personalized magnets this can range from super cheap to super pricey so you can either just go to your local either bookstore i know here in portland oregon we have powell's and they have lots of little trinkets and magnets and as well as books obviously but even from places like walmart you can find just cute little cheesy magnets that if it's something that pertains to that person and maybe it's kind of goofy that would be like a cute gift number 12 is a mug i know we probably all have a million mugs but what's another one am i right i found a really cute one from target for five dollars and it makes me incredibly happy so i think that would spark joy for someone number 13 small figurines if that person's into like the little pop figures what are those called no or even mcdonald's those little happy meal toys i actually have one like this cute little avengers guy of course it's very cheap but honestly if that person is obsessed with that character who cares it's cute and it's thoughtful number 14 anything zodiac related so i'm a gemini and i strongly identify as a gemini <laughs> and i even have a tattoo of it but anything related to that like honestly this ties into my next two gift ideas so number 15 would be notebooks so if you got them a special notebook that's geared towards either if they're a college student or they like puppies or they're also a gemini or like you know something to do with their zodiac or anything like that like i love having just random notebooks to just jot things down and to have on deck as well as number 16 temporary tattoos i think those are so fun and i think those are kind of coming back i know we had a moment where we were all obsessed with the metallic tattoos but i've been seeing all over tiktok like everyone putting those hand tattoos on which i think i'm obsessed with so i might have to get some temporary tattoos number 17 is a little bit more difficult but if you maybe live with this person or you have like a sanitized way to do this you could do baked goods and goodie bags i know a friend of mine she said she loves to make fudge and do little goodie bags for co-workers and things like that normally so even just like cookies or pie or even those like fun christmas cookies that you can just literally dump on the baking sheet throw them in the oven for like 10 minutes or whatever and they have like a cute reindeer christmas tree on them like those are my favorite and if someone gave this to me i'd be like thank you number 18 this one i'm not sure exactly how much it costs but it is a very fun gift so you can do like a thai blanket you could go to joanne's or i think hobby lobby or where else where else? What, other, what other fabric stores are there? I don't know. But you can go and find two pieces of like fleece blanket and they even have a little kit. Who doesn't love a blanket in Christmas season? Number 19 would be accessories. So any kind of basic jewelry if the person really likes jewelry or even like mini nail polishes because I know a lot of us aren't going to nail so long if, we, that, that, if that's a thing we normally do. But any type of accessory. I know chain necklaces are really big this year. Little ones, big ones bracelets matching rings like that whole situation accessories are 
always great. Number 20 is one I actually have used for gifts in the past is doing a print from Walgreens photo. So they always have coupons going on, so never pay full price. But I would always Google like what type of photo coupons Walgreens is like running at the time. And again, you could do like either print out a portrait that you bought, print out something like a photo or multiple photos. And again, put that framed, but you can also do it so that they will print it and frame it for you all in one, which is my favorite. <laughs> With that, number 21, you can make a collage. So there's t tons of free resources out there. One of my favorites is Canva, and that's a free website where you can literally just upload a bunch of photos, create a cute collage, and make it like a personalized computer background, make it a collage of photos of you and that person, them and their pets, or you know, anything like that, make it kind of personal, and that's completely free. I should have added that at the end because that's definitely a free thing that you could just make digitally, but you could also have that printed out as well. Number 22 is generic. It's the gift card. I mean, you can go to like places like Costco and get packs of gift cards, so like $10 each, so you're like, all right, three people done right there. <laughs> But to be honest, I will never turn down a Starbucks gift card, an Amazon gift card, a Taco Bell gift card. Like, let's be honest, we love gift cards. Let's stop acting like people wouldn't love to receive that. <laughs> Number 23 is like the Quib toothbrush. And they have those at Target. Those are like the electric toothbrushes that a lot of like influencers use. I've seen them. But I noticed that if you choose one with like the plastic bottom, it's only $25. And I think that's like a very useful gift, to be honest. <laughs> Number 24, if they're 21 and up, you can get them a drink kit. Now, I know it gets kind of touchy when you order alcohol because you can't like ship alcohol legally, but if there's someone who maybe lives close by or lives in your house, you can just find little mini bottles at any liquor store, put together like a little mini drink cocktail kit, and I would love receiving that. 25, get them a reusable cup or straw. Now, the big ones are like Yeti or like those little wine cooler cups, so great as well as reusable straws are just it. We love our reusable straws. I could always use more. 26 is a water bottle. I know at Target, they kind of have that, um, it's like a swell off brand. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I'll put it here. But I can't get enough of reusable insulated water bottles because those are chef's kiss. 27, this is an interesting one because you could honestly just order that person food. Now, if you don't want to make it, you can literally just Uber eat something to their house. For like their gift i don't know i just thought of that and i was like you know what i would love if someone ordered food to my house for me like find out their favorite meal and if there's some place near them where they live uber eats it or if like you're across the country and like you know what their address or whatever just like know on a certain day be like all right don't don't plan for dinner this day i got it like <laughs> like who wouldn't love a free meal come on 28 this is random but my mom definitely brought it up it's post-it notes like i can't get enough of literally just post-it notes especially with working from home i have like a million things happening and i just want to make sure i always remember things and i sometimes have to work on the weekend so i have to like write little reminders to myself like hey make sure you log in on sunday <laughs> and those are relatively cheap and very practical okay now we're in the free section let's talk about free gifts now i mentioned before the make a collage so that can be either a free option or if you want to print it out you, if you have a printer, then I guess that's technically free, but if you need to get a printed out, it's not free. But these next ones are completely free and relatively simple. So at 29, you can do a video edit. Now, I know what you're thinking, if you're like not technical at all or anything and you don't know how to use anything, I'm telling you, this app, Video Leap, not sponsored, but like, I love this app. It's a completely free app where you can literally use it on your phone, upload any videos you want, organize them, speed them up, put music to it, and then download it right then and there. And it's so simple and user-friendly. If you wanted to make a video of like a slideshow or something of like photos of you guys or like funny Snapchats that you've taken or maybe it's for like your grandparents, like fun videos of like the family or videos of just like your year if you want to just like create that. I don't know, possibilities are endless with that one. Number 30 is a handwritten letter. Now that's kind of, I guess more simple one but it's something that's really special like i know we do cards and everything but there's something special about a handwritten letter especially if you are able to visit this person 
in person, especially due to corona or if they live far away. Either way, you can't see them. But a handwritten letter with maybe like your favorite memory or like a story time of like something that you really want to let them know that happened. If you haven't updated them in a while, like a handwritten letter is just so cute. Okay, this one's kind of more of a joke. Number 31, <laughs> toilet paper tower. <laughs> Practical. Number 32 is a massage. So maybe if it's your significant other, you can have like a coupon for a free massage or like five free massages or whatever. Or you can literally get a gift certificate for like a cheap massage. I think 40 to $50 would probably be at least like a nice cheap massage for them to use later on. So that could be free or not depending on how you work that. <laughs> Number 33 is, I think, a good idea. It's a personalized playlist. And if you either pay for Spotify Premium or maybe you don't, you could always put a playlist together on YouTube, which is completely free, and make it completely personalized to that person. So maybe if it's your significant other, songs that mean something to your relationship, or if it's like your best friend, just do songs that make you think of them or like their favorite artists and just put it together in a way that is more thought out so it's not just kind of like thrown together. I mean, you could, but personalized playlist is very thoughtful. And kind of going off of that, number 34 would be personalized movie watch list. So maybe this person has not seen a lot of movies, you could put together a watch list for them, but there's also websites where you can watch movies with that person. I think with Netflix, it's like a Google Chrome extension or something like that, where you can kind of watch these movies together from a distance and maybe you've seen a bunch of movies recently that like you know this person would love and that they haven't seen just put a little together a list for them because i know there are some nights when it's like i don't know what movie to watch and i'm not going to spend half an hour searching on netflix or hulu to find one and then i just end up not watching one and this last one is number 35 so personalized recipe ideas now you could always buy like a recipe book but if you want to do like a free version of that you could google recipes online and put together like a whole little list going you could either put together like a word doc or something you could print it out if you have a printer or just put a bunch of links together for this person especially if they have dietary restrictions so i know i got a recipe book for one of my friends one year who is gluten-free and has a bunch of different allergies so i found a recipe book that was specific to her needs and i got that for her so that she could always look back to it when she needed recipes so the free version of that would obviously be find those types of recipes online if this person is like just going vegan or they're just going keto like maybe find a bunch of recipes for them and like do that research for them and that would be an amazing gift i personally would love that or maybe they're just like a picky eater maybe you could do some like gateway recipes to help that person i don't know expand their palate but uh there you have it there's over 30 gift ideas including free ideas and i hope that inspires you obviously you don't have to take exactly what I gave as an option, but I hope this kind of gives you some ideas and maybe gets those creative juices flowing. Let me know if you did enjoy any of these gift ideas and if you have more for me, please comment them down below. I would love to see those and I'm sure other people would too. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and happy Vlogmas. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.